Target management says that they're expecting the second quarter operating margin to be 2% versus the guidance that they initially gave us of 5.3%. This is a major problem this morning for Target stock. It's down 7 and 2 thirds percent, but it's also taking the rest of the market down with us. Look at where we are. Dow Industrials down 232 points right now at the lows because of this news coming from Target. Yesterday, of course, was the first trading day following Amazon's 20-for-1 stock split. This is the fourth time Amazon has split its stock since going public in 1997. But Amazon is right in the middle of what is clearly a slowdown in retail. We're seeing it at Target. We're seeing it across the board in retail. Amazon shares are down 2% right now. I know you say we are in a technical recession but not an overall economic recession. What does that mean? Well, I think tech specifically has problems here, right? I mean, we're seeing layoffs across the board. There was like uh, close to 1,800 tech layoffs last month. Um, we had Elon Musk come out and say, basically, I need to cut 10% of my workforce. And I think that's what's being reflected in the market right now. I mean, the only bear market we're seeing is in tech. Uh, you know, I give Dennis props for his call, but it's, it's really concentrated <laughs> in tech right now. I mean, if you look at the S&P 500, if you underweighted tech and you look at an equal weight S&P 500, it's only down like 8% for the year. And if I look at a value portfolio, if you think about like names like J.P. Morgan, Berkshire Hathaway, how you look at pharmaceutical stocks, you know, basket of those stocks right now collectively is only down 1% for the year versus tech down 20% for the year. So I clearly I think what you're seeing here, Maria, right now is we're getting a repricing. Interest rates have definitely gone a lot higher. We know that inflation's higher now. But it's disproportionately hitting parts of the market like disruptive technology. Uh, Amazon's a great example of that. It's done terrible this year. Um, but, you know, value stocks are holding up well. I mean, I run diversified portfolios for my clients. You know, we're down less than 10 percent. It's a run of mill correction in a big bull market, if you, you know, as I've been saying every week. Um, so once, once you get outside of the fact that tech is in a slowdown, you're seeing the layoffs there because last time I looked, we had another $390,000 to the economy last month and wages are going higher uh, and that's not an overall recessionary environment. I don't think we're going into recession. I've been saying it week after week. And, you know, at this point, I think it's just about allocating your portfolio correctly. Um, and that's the bottom line here. And I'll do respect to Dennis. For well, his, his I mean, call. so you you say it's a te technology recession. But what about what about Target? It's warning of weaker margins is taking the whole market down with it, uh, Ryan. So, uh, yeah, you're right. It's selective. You shouldn't own tech, I guess. But do you not own retail as well then? Well, not every retailer, right? Look at Nordstrom's. They came out with fantastic earnings the other week. So I think it depends on the retailer, Maria, as well, right? That's, that's not germane to every single retailer that's out there right now. So I think even okay. if you look at retail, I mean, you're only talking about a couple specific names. Let's face it. Overall, earnings went up last quarter. They're going to go up again this quarter. Uh, and we should have positive mm. GDP growth this quarter as well. So I think at the end of the day, you have certain areas, yes. But the overall market, again, we're still in that run of milk correction. And I still think this year, with you know, we talk about inflation going up, you want to own stocks that pay dividends, they increase their cash flow over time. You know, that's a great inflation hedge. Cash is trash. That's not where you want to be right now.